Well, thanks for watching this segment on Revelations. It's a series about evangelism and discipleship. We're so excited to be in Virginia visiting with Jim Wright, the founder of Birth Mother Ministries. Jim, thanks again for spending some time to chat with Annette and I about your ministry. Yes. Our viewers may not know this, but you were in episode one way back in the beginning in 2008 when we launched our series. And uh, you were the guy that God used to help encourage us to get out of the boat and to launch Horizon Media Studios to produce this series. But uh, why don't you tell our viewers a, a little bit about Birth Mothers and the heart behind it, how God put on your heart to launch this ministry. Well, thanks, uh, Chuck. And uh, I, 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 I was first, huh? Yeah. I think that, uh, that that means I'll be last, right? <laughs> the first will be so last, rate, the last uh, will be first, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, uh, but I appreciate you. No, our, our ministry is to help women choose life for their babies, uh, women that find themselves pregnant. So we've, we've served many women since our founding. Mm -hmm. And I've been f thinking about the other day, I always say 500 women, but it's must be many, many more yeah. beyond uh, 500, somewhere between 500 and 1,000. And what I mean by serve, that means they've been matched with a friend. Mm -hmm. So a Christian friend, what our objective is to have a Christian friend walk along a lady, walk along with a woman, mm -hmm. help her to choose life, mm -hmm. choose all the resources, get the resources out there in the marketplace, mm -hmm. and most of all, choose Christ. Right. Well, I know in some cases, uh, when you're choosing life, maybe that young woman doesn't have the support of family. She can't parent, and adoption is a great option, right, as long as we're choosing life here. Yes, and adoption is a great option. Unfortunately, adoption is not often chosen in America. You know, the numbers are very low, have been low for a long time. I would love to see more women use that option uh, to choose adoption as opposed to abortion. Mm -hmm. And what we'd like to do also with these women is help them get them to the resources. I said that earlier. Get them to the resources and have a friend with you this full time. Right. doesn't go away right. regardless of the choice you ultimately make. Yeah, it's an older, mature Christian woman who's helping you get to some of those doctor appointments, helping you uh, walk through that nine month period, again, to make sure you're choosing life and, and to get the care you need. And at the end of the day, when she gives birth to the baby, a lot choose to parent at that point, thinking maybe at the beginning they wouldn't be able to. I think you told me a long time ago, you never met a woman who had an abortion, who wanted to have the abortion, but and the main reason for having it is because they felt they didn't have support. So talk about how important it is to support that yeah, woman. Yeah, the, the, uh, there are statistics that we have in our brochure talks about that 87% of the women would have chosen life had they had a significant person helping them walk through the spring sea. Right. Often a lot isolated. Right. You also have the situation where the boyfriend or even the husband sometimes mm -hmm. is pressuring her to uh, abort. Right. So you see an incredible pressure to abort. Yeah. And actually, now I've seen so many women that weep in my presence, just mm -hmm. weep about the abortion choice they made. Yeah. And now that scar is with them forever. Yeah. I know we're also coming up on a, a presidential election where that's just a, a clear issue, red, blue, where they stand on this issue. Um, one says, uh, we're going to keep Roe versus Wade. One wants some Supreme Justices to get in there and overturn Roe versus Wade. So that's always been a battle as well that I know you're passionate about. I'm passionate about life and I'm passionate about saving life. Right now, based on all that I know and all we have from the CDC, and this is the, uh, uh, the only organization that tracks, we have up close to 60 million abortions mm -hmm. since 1973. Wow. 60 million. We're having about 2,900 abortions per day. Now think about that. That's 9-11 every day. Wow. That's, now that's a disaster. And yeah. it's a disaster for the women and the men. Men are affected too. We don't right. talk much about the men, but many men carry the blood on their hands of the abortion. They either promoted or they remain silent when the woman mm -hmm. said, I'm going to have an abortion, and, and the boyfriend said nothing. Yeah. And I have stories I can tell about that, about the grief that a man would have, does yeah. have. Well, I love how you guys counsel them and encourage them. There's no condemnation in Christ. You also lead them to Christ. Talk about along this journey, you're getting real opportunities to share a good gospel message to where they're never going to walk alone. They'll always have Jesus with them if they receive Christ. Talk about the gospel aspect of, of Well, ministry. obviously, uh, we, we uh, want to be uh, very much a friend to her. So we're not going to lead off in the first meeting with, hey, do you know Jesus? Right. Some of these women don't know Jesus, don't, don't, don't know much about church. Right. Some do. Right. There's a whole spectrum. It's many come out of church. And I'll tell you that sometimes it doesn't happen initially like in life. Mm -hmm. And I know we have one situation uh, that I remember echoes in my mind. One friend had dinner with her birth mom. 
-hmm. And that's what, that was in the setting she accepted Christ. This is that the baby's been born, mm -hmm. not placed in this case. She was parenting, mm -hmm. accepted Christ later. These friendships go on. Right. So the, the friend becomes a friend. Just right. like you would be a friend to me, right. you don't go away just yeah. because I, you know. Yeah, because you had a baby. <laughs> yeah, I think that's your tagline verse, isn't it? Proverbs 17, a friend loves at all times. Exactly. Is that 17, 17? 17, 17. Every time is. I read that verse, I think of my buddy Jim. Yeah, a friend yeah, loves yeah, at all yeah, times. Yeah. That's so. right. That's good. So tell our viewers about ways they can get involved with birth mothers. Well, I think the uh, obviously if you feel led to uh, support the ministry, you can go to birthmotherministries.org. It's birthmotherministries.org. The site for the woman that's pregnant is birthmothers.org. So we have two different sites. So if you're pregnant, you would go in there. And then at birthmotherministries.org, there's a donate button. You can give there. And if you want to get involved in your church, uh, you can call me up. We can talk about that. And I have done some remote training before, too. Mm -hmm. And by the way, we take calls from across the United States mm -hmm. because we have an 800 number on the site, yeah. which is 844-77-BIRTH. Which is mm -hmm. So that's why we need the funds to take it to the national. Well, that's amazing, Jim. And uh, I'd like to pray with our viewers watching and see if uh, the Lord might establish yes. some partnerships. Amen. Thank you. Father God, Lord Jesus, we thank you for everybody who's watching right now. God, we know that you saved us by grace through faith. It's nothing we've ever done, but you saved us for good works that you've prepared from the foundations of the earth that we should walk in them. And God, we know you are pro-life. And God, you have a plan for every baby in the womb. Just like you told Jeremiah, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you and I ordained you to be a prophet to the nations. So God, we just pray, especially for this issue in our country, mm -hmm. that we would support legislation and legislators that are pro-life and that are for that baby in the womb to be an advocate. I pray for Jim and his board and all the volunteers, all these birth moms that are coming alongside. Uh, these friends to come alongside these birth mothers to help them choose life and encourage them and support them uh, to give a healthy birth to a baby that you have plans and purposes for. We pray for partnerships, God. If there's anybody who's listening and praying with us, if there's a way for them to get involved, we pray, Holy Spirit, that you would show them exactly what to do, how to do it, that they can partner together to reap a harvest in these last days. And we pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, until our next segment of Revelations, may you and your families be blessed. I want to invite you to take a look at our website, revelationstvseries.org. It's produced by Horizon Media Studios. It's a 501c3 media ministry, and what we're doing is helping other ministries tell their story. Homeless shelters and children's homes, Bible colleges, seminaries, mission sending agencies. With your help, we can continue to help tell their story to inspire the world to shine their light and let God get the glory for the work that's being done in advancing the kingdom of Jesus Christ.